Once we are finished doing our data collection, the question is how do we then get data into ArcMap? Well, the key is this My Hosted Services. If I go in and sign in as one of the users, like this, I now, under this My Hosted Services, have my root poster from the one that I created before. And if I drag this onto my map and look at my table of contents, we can see we have the data from before, um, of our buildings and all those other things that we created. And I can click on them with the eye tool and it tells how many posters are in the building and all those data that I've created in the field. If I um, want to have my personal copy that is not part of the online version, well, what I have to do is that I have to right click on the layers and then go and export the data. So I can uh, choose my data. Uh, I could find my book poster folder. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, find my book poster folder. Um, and down here, create a new database. Here's a collection. And in this database, I can create my Yep, and I want also to do the same with my buildings. So export data into that and call them buildings. And yeah. So now I've got two data sets on my server, from the server downloaded to my computer and they can then be used just like any other. This ability to download data and have it work with you as your own is not limited to your own data on ArcGIS Online, but also any other data that has given the right for you to download it. So if you go on ArcGIS Online and search for, let's say, um, the Danish railroad system, we can then get this with Ringster Road and we say add and it will now connect to uh, Ben Denmark and download this data set that we then can work with. So I'll just uh, let it download it finished. Once this data set is downloaded, we can then right click on it and say data and export and we then have our own version of this data set we can work with. So, RGS Online is also a way of getting access to our data sources than what we normally have access to.